my favorite things about Pitch Perfect is just kind of the girl poweriness of it all because, you know, it's a woman director, but it's also, you know, a, a franchise that was produced by women, written by women, stars very powerful women in powerful roles, um, and there aren't enough movies that do that. We all know that. I think Hollywood is finally getting that memo, but it takes a while for the world to catch up when things like that finally hit the consciousness. So I'm glad that Pitch Perfect kind of is ahead of the ahead of the curve. Um, it's been great working with strong, brave, powerful, smart, creative women through this whole process. The riff off this time around is different because, you know, we're not dealing with acapella on acapella violence anymore. We're dealing with like musicians on a tour that play instruments in different genres. We've got country, we've got sort of, you know, a bluegrassy country and a girl rock band and a hip hop outfit. And then here, here come the Bellas. They are so hysterical. You can just turn the camera on these two people and watch them go and sometimes you just forget to yell cut and eventually they're just like are you gonna ever yell cut because we're just all staring at them or laughing so hard we're peeing our pants um they're very 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 funny and they understand of course having been here from the beginning they understand the specific brand of humor in this story and what these women and what these characters have been through and so they're just like the perfect voice of the franchise I think the reason pitch perfect touches so many people is that this this particular story and these characters have found a way to walk the line between absurd, uh, larger-than-life eccentric kookiness and a fundamental realness that feels true and grounded.